Are you tracking your inactive time? Today, I got a good mile and a half walk first thing in the morning. Just finished hitting tennis balls, yet I had seven hours and 10 minutes of inactive time. So what the research shows is that I would have been better off taking small breaks during the day, moving around, than doing these exercises first thing in the morning and the afternoon. Now, a lot of times I can do that, and I do that by just taking a break in between each meeting, doing 15 sit-ups, 15 push-ups, 10 deep knee bends, some deep breathing. That's enough blood circulation and movement that registers, elevates my heart rate, where I get great reports at the end of the day from my aura ring. Today, I only did that those routines twice because I was so focused on my work, <laughs> which happens. Remember, it's progress, not perfection. Looking at the numbers is a great feedback tool. I'm glad I did get my exercise in, but it's going to be better for me tomorrow to build in just the five minutes in between meetings to do those things than to do great workouts at the beginning or the end. So measure your inactive time and move during the day.